The government's been introducing clean air zones in places like Leeds and Birmingham, but at the moment, Norwich isn't on that list. For those places, the most polluting buses, taxis, vans and lorries would be charged to enter the area from 2020. And it's that kind of idea that one of our MPs, Norwich South's Clive Lewis, would like to see here. I think, you know, look, it's something that needs to be carefully calibrated. It needs to be carefully worked out. You don't want to penalise and stop the economic well-being of, of the city, but you do want to make sure that when people come into the city, they're not being choked to death. The prospect of one of those zones is being welcomed by the City Council, but would need powers to be given to us from the government. I really agree with the clean air zones, I agree with dealing with polluting vehicles. Uh, we're doing lots, lots about it anyway, but this would be a real, real help to us in the city. Air pollution's a long-running problem in Norwich, with plenty of campaigns to control the amount of things like nitrogen dioxide particles in the air. The Greens in the city have long been campaigning for improvements and say it's about time. So we were really pleased that Clive Lewis has finally come on board and realised that this is such an issue for the people of Norwich. Five percent of people are dying prematurely each year and it's about time that the MP for Norwich started saying the kind of things that Clive Lewis is now saying about tackling air pollution, about making sure that our air that we breathe is cleaner and healthier for everyone. But what could it mean for business? Some are sceptical, although supporting cleaner air, saying this idea could end up costing more for the customers. Arthur Blunt's from Roadrunner Express Couriers and thinks other ideas should be explored too. I think um, what would help congestion is if um, the local governments or councils decided to open up the, the taxi lanes and the bus lanes to couriers. Uh, at the moment we have no access to them and that makes it very difficult for us to get in and around the city, whereas a lot of the time we're sitting there idling in traffic, um, causing probably more congestion than is necessary. But ultimately the power doesn't lie here. It would be up to central government to give places like Norwich the power to enact clean air zones, leaving the question of pollution in our city an issue still very much up in the air. Neil Perry, Mustard TV, Norwich.